2014 is a year of enormous change for Formula One. It's almost easy to ask what hasn't changed. Uh, we've got changes in the sporting regulations, changes in the technical regulations, change of driver lineup, uh, change of scoring points, everything is different. In the sporting uh, regulations. We've got two exciting circuits for this year that we haven't raced on before in the Austria, what used to be called the A1 ring, uh, and in Russia. Our driver lineup has changed because we have Kevin Magnussen uh, sitting alongside Jensen Button as former world champion, and that's a really exciting proposition for us. Technically, engine and chassis, if I just break those two down, that's all different. The engine is no longer a 2.4 litre V8, it's a 1.6 litre uh, V6 engine with a very complicated energy recovery system. Not just braking energy, but now uh, heat energy from the turbocharger and a huge ba lithium ion battery in the middle of it as well. Uh, that means that the gearbox is going to be different, so seven ratios, it's eight ratios. Uh, there are only five engines that have got to last you this season uh, and heavy penalties for failure. A gearbox has got to last six races, uh, so that's most of the transmission. If I then go to the chassis, uh, aerodynamically it's all different. The front wing is narrower and the front wing end plates conveniently run straight into the front wheel, which is a nightmare for the aerodynamicists. Uh, the rear lower main plane has disappeared, so the aerodynamics are all different. Um, the engine people want us to carry huge amounts of radiator uh, uh, cooling to cool this engine and turbocharger, that's complicated. It's 50 kilos more weight on the car. Uh, because of all the complex systems that go with it. We can only screw up fuel in at 100 kilos, maximum fuel load of 100 kilos per hour, and that's measured. And on top of all that, we're limited in what we can do in the wind tunnel by the sporting regulations as well, so what's not to like? But we've had amazing reliability brought on by some of the changes in the regulations, and I think we're going to take a big reset on that. It's a huge challenge for everybody. Um, that will make some really exciting races because there are going to be some thrills and some spills. Uh, and that unpredictability always adds a bit of, uh, bit of drama if you're sitting in the armchair at home and watching it across a bar or something. And a bit of stress if you're trying to run a Formula One team. So, but we're up for that. We've got a team that are very strong people and a lot of specialists know how here and it's a team of racers. So uh, we're really fortunate with our driver lineups uh, here. But Jensen's no exception to that. As a former world champion, uh, he's driven good cars, bad cars, intermediate cars, and, and he's so articulate as anybody who's interviewed him and listened to him will attest. His, his feedback and his insight into what's going on in the car is extremely useful to us. Um, he's a consummate racer, as we've seen. But if I look at um, Kevin as an exciting prospect, then he has that, uh, that freshness, that youth, that almost adaptability. He doesn't have a preconceived idea about what it's like to be in a Formula One car, so he has no, no benchmark or no previous experience to, to give him besetting sins, if you will. And he has that youth and adaptability and a real hunger, as they all do uh, when they come in. And we just need to make sure that we, uh, we unleash that when it's appropriate and we shelter him from some of the fierceness and white heat of the, the other parts of Formula One. The difference between success and failure this year for me, I think certainly in the first six months, it's about speed of decision making because things are going to happen. It's all news changing um, and nobody can afford to sit still and ponder. You've got to see something and move quickly, whether that's reliability to capture points or race wins early in the season, whether it's to spot a technological advantage or whether it's to spot that something on the competition uh, is useful or to adapt to a reinterpretation by the FIA, who knows? Um, but speed of decision making will be key. For those that, that know Ron, um, he's as fired up as he, as he ever has been, in fact, probably more passionate now than ever. Uh, he's excited about the changes that we have ahead of us. Uh, he's very operational with us in the business, um, has a very strong vision about the brand, the values, and not just about making sure that McLaren is totally focused on winning, but how we win. You know, there is that, that way that McLaren go about things. And if ever there was somebody who had a very strong vision and a, and a sense of true north, uh, and how it, how it is to win in Formula One and why that's important. He's got it in spades. It's exciting times.